You're watching World Inside with me, Tian Wei. Still to come on our program. Let's get up and close and personal with Olympic skating coach Li Yang, whose speed skating team brought home the long gold from the Pingchang Olympic Games right after this break. Welcome back. You're watching World Inside. I'm Tian Wei. Beijing, together with the nearby Hebei province, will host the 24th Winter Olympic Games in the year 2022. Earlier this year in February, China finished the Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games with one gold, six silver, and two bronze medals. The only gold that came from the short track speed skating team. As the coach of the team and also a retired skater, Li Yan has always been the team's rock. I caught up with her at the Boa Forum, sharing her experiences in Pyeongchang and the future of China's winter sports. How do you assess your performance this time during the Winter Games in Pyeongchang? Um, I think we do well because, you know, gold medal always is a standard for the performance. So Wu Dajin get 500 meter gold medal. And also he broke, he broken uh, like uh, four times Olympic uh, re record. Olympic is always hard, you know. It's because everybody expecting doing do doing very well at a certain time. With we call Olympic game. <laughs> so this is why uh, too many people, too many athletes have uh, under a lot of pressure, and uh, you know like uh, they won't do well. So all the pressure come to one point is really hard to uh, you know um, to to present themselves. It's same as for our team. So because our team you know during during like a 12 days uh, competition, um, we expectation our expectation pretty high at a certain uh, um, events like a distance, but uh, we didn't get you know what we want at some point, but. Our team spirit, like fighting spirit, is still there. Mm. This gold medal is the last day, last moment. Exactly. Is uh, we are waiting for so long, and the really once we get it, that's like a pleasure and exciting is difference. Do you have to control yourself in front of your athletes? Uh, it's not. I, I, like I said, it's a practice. It's just myself. I didn't pretend to do that. Maybe at some point, a little bit uh, emotion yes. come up, but that's really short. That's short time. Most of the time, you really have to come to do what you're supposed to do. Yes. Have they learned? Have they learned from you, the skills? See, 12 days, the last yes. day, we didn't get a gold medal. This means, you know, we could overcome our um, difficulty time. Ms. Lee, on the one hand, you got a lot of these tasks. China wants to hold the Olympic Games, host the Olympic Games, and therefore want Team China to do well, right? On the other hand, you've got these post-90s generation. No, so they, they have very different personalities, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So you have a lot of pressure of tasks, but at the same time, you have to adjust to the current generation, how they interact. Uh, tell me about how you do it. Like my daughter is a teenager, 13 years old. <laughs> I heard you talk about so, that before. <laughs> and, you know, the eyes are the same. They are just uh, get younger and younger. I think they teach me, I teach them. Um, the new thing is a lot of come from them. Mm -hmm. the, all the younger athletes, it's really good. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, you with the young people, you learning stuff, uh, new stuff. You, 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 you never feel you're old. How do you see China's prospect in the coming winter games. Beijing Olympic is a huge thing, it's a big thing for country. Uh, it's not easy to hold Olympics in different countries, but especially in China, because this, um, this requires a lot of lot stuff, like, uh, you know, all the rings, like, uh, you know, um, ice and snow, you know, those stuff. You should have, like, a lot of knowledge to, to to build, put this together. Also for performance, um, you want to do well at home, right? Everybody want to do well at home. So also, this, uh, you have a lot of hope and uh, wish, and you try your best, but also you have, uh, you under a lot of pressure as well. I just wish we can do well for uh, China at the Beijing Olympics. 
like a, <laughs> we try to bring our team to reach as higher as we can to, to, to represent China uh, in Beijing Olympics. What is your plan now? Do you have a, already a set plan about leading up to the day of Beijing Olympic Games? You know, like winter sport is, is never and is big enough in China. For now, but after Olympic, for sure, we will get bigger and bigger. A lot of people will, you know, join the with the sports, uh, either for fun or for, you know, for the career. I don't know, but uh, for sure, will be a lot of people be there uh, with the sports. The plan is uh, you should have a goal. The goal is if you want to get a gold medal, or you can, uh, you want to be in the final, so you need to start right now. Once you have a big goal, you will try to do your best. You will overcome a lot of a hard time. So this uh, really requires a team for the leaders like coach and athletes. We will follow the same path to, uh, to, to do a lot of stuff to make sure you are, once all of you come, Beijing 2022, 20, come, you are ready for that. Of course, your team now are made up of different ages. Some of them will stay, some of them will leave by the year 2022. What is going to be the priority or criteria for you to choose whether someone stay or someone has to go? So the plan is uh, team one, two, three. So from junior to senior, so all different age group. Uh, we, uh, we're not cut for the age. You know, which age you can perform well is not because of that. It's because of uh, ability. If you have ability to help in the team, if you have, have ability to, to win the, the medal for our country, so yes, that person will be choose. So, but we always be prepared, like always. Like, it's not even four years right now. It's yes. Every single day all comes. What a pleasure seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. <laughs> Thank you very much. Li Yan, a very well-known coach from China for the winter sports. And that is all the time we have for today. If you'd like to see more, try to find us World Inside CGTN into your search engine or check out our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and see the Weibo. From me, Tian Wei, and everyone on the World Inside team, thanks for watching. Tune in again next time for insights across China and around the world. Good night.